I'm making some very small trees. I'm using my quarter inch flat and the darker green. So using the end of the brush to make a couple of marks for the trunk. And now I'll use the corner and make my branches. Control your paint, make sure you don't have too much on the brush, that's key. And you can see it's about as tall as the bristles and they shouldn't be any bigger than that. I'm keeping some paper towel in my hand so I can dab off the brush if I think there's too much paint on it. And again, I'm just using the very corner of my brush to add the branches. You'll make eight small trees over here on the left side of your paper. Notice that some of the trees are very full and some are more sparse. So I'd like to see a variety. And at the end, it's a good idea to go in and just put a few dark marks in there. Even though they're small, you still want that variety of value. On the right hand side, you can see that I've painted some very light trees. I added a lot of water to the paint and one is much lighter than the other two. I'll paint a couple of trees over the top. The reason I painted these trees lighter is because I want them to look like they're in the background. And when things are lighter and grayer and less detailed, they'll naturally recede into the background. I'm painting this tree with what I think of as a medium value. So it's not super dark, but I will add some dark areas, particularly towards the bottom to give it some shadows. I've mixed up darker paint and I'm going to add two more trees and have them overlap. On these trees in particular, I want a full range of values. Going back in and adding more detail and more dark paint. Once the trees have dried, I'll use my half inch flat and some light paint to add some ground. I'm making horizontal brush strokes across and adding some more color for value variety. And finally, some shadows. <laughs> 